Hey everyone, I decided to make a video here about a ball lineup, mainly geared probably towards more beginner bowlers. I would say that you should probably have a minimum of seven balls to start your lineup if you're going to be going bowling tournaments. The reason why is just because you're going to hit a variety of patterns. When you hit a variety of patterns, you know, you're going to need transition stuff. And I know bowling equipment is costly, so I think that if you can get seven balls that you can find that are good across all patterns or roll good on, on certain types of patterns, it's, it's a good thing to have. This is the starting point that I would have. So the types of balls that we have here. For long, I have a Crux Prime. I love asymmetrical balls on long. Asymmetrical balls are probably the best rolling balls for long patterns. You need that little bit of help from the inside because you're usually starting a little deeper. It gives you that little more kick on the back part of the lane. So that's why we have that, that ball in there as our biggest ball. If we were to go down to fresh medium, for me, because I'm a bit higher ball speed, I would start with a pro motion. Phase two or an IQ two are also good choices, uh, but you want that, that, that smooth symmetrical ball that has a solid cover stock for your fresh medium. When you get into your transition balls, this is where it gets really, really tricky. So the balls that I've selected that I like for transition, I got an Idol Pro, I have original physics, and then I have an IQ Tour Emerald. The reason why I picked the Idol Pro, and I would probably suggest this ball for just about every bowler, it doesn't matter your skill level, whether you've been bowling tournaments a long time or not. This ball's very clean through the front, it's a solid cover stock, which makes it smooth, but it still gives you good shape on the back part of the lane. I can see me and everybody else using this on transition for long and transition for medium. I think this is going to be one of the greatest transition balls out there. I think it also could be a good fresh pattern ball. I just happen to like the shape better for, for your first transition ball on a lot of variety of patterns. We have the physics. The physics is, is somewhat similar overall with the idle pearl it's the hybrid cover stock though which means it's got both pearl and solid components to it so it's going to give you just a bit different shape than this one will and that's why we have this here first transition is always the trickiest to figure out and i put these two because i just don't think i don't think one is good enough i think that you need to and both of these balls will come into transition on medium and long your last transition ball, for me, I went with the IQ Tour Emerald. I have an astrophysics that I absolutely love, but I think I'll get more use out of this ball with it being a little bit weaker shell. It's got, it's still pearl and symmetrical, just being a little sm more smooth rolling and predictable. But these five right here is probably, if you were starting out and trying to build an arsenal, these type of shapes, are the five main ones that you're gonna probably need for medium and long. We have a fever pitch over here, urethane. Personally, I, I don't have it here with me, but I like the pitch black better. I, I think urethane is a very crucial ball to have for short patterns. You know, if you have to play closer to the gutter, there's no way you're staying closer to the gutter with a reactive ball. Um, the nice thing about it is though, is that if you're gonna swing to the gutter, you can have a pro motion, idle pro, even possibly the IQ Tour Emerald was gonna allow you to swing it to the gutter but having a urethane ball there is, is just very important to control the pocket on short patterns. And then at the end, we obviously have our spare ball. Spare ball is vitally important because we don't strike every shot no matter how much we want to. And having a spare ball there is important. So if I were to build a lineup, these are the seven balls that I would start with. Obviously, I'm a Storm staff member. That's why I have these here. But any company that you go with, you're going to want to have one of their bigger ASIMs. You're going to want to have a, a bit of a bigger symmetrical ball. Your medium symmetrical ASIM ball, you're going to want one of each of those. And then I would pick a lower end pearl symmetrical ball for me, a urethane and a spare ball. That's what I would start for building my arsenal for tournament play. If you found this video helpful, Give it a like, share it, and we'll talk to you again soon.